Hello everyone, welcome back to our Vampire the Masquerade, The Price of Power. I am your storyteller and arbiter of justice, I suppose. And I am a wonderful, I am a, I don't want to say old, I am happy to have these wonderful people with me today. And hopefully we can tell a vampire story where our vampires don't get killed by something tonight. Um, but to begin with, let's let these wonderful people introduce themselves. And now we will start with Sir Monolith. Hi, I'm at Sir Monolith on the Twitter, uh, and I'm looking forward to see uh, what way we wind up escaping a uh, certain death uh, tonight by just, you know, being our normal selves. Wise, wise words, wise words. Dichromaniac, it's your turn. Yeah, hi, I'm Di. Uh, you can find me at Dichromaniac on all stable and unstable <coughs> Tumblr um, <laughs> internet platforms that exist. And yeah, I'm playing Tansy, and she has gone from pop princess to emo kid, but is you know, still the same old Tansy, just with a different rapper. Okay, sure. Um, uh, all right, your turn. Hi, I'm Ari. Uh, if you were here last night, I was playing Layla. Tonight, I am playing Vegas, uh, who is uh, just deeply concerned about what all this coterie has gotten up to. Um, it's going to be a time. But you can find me at uh, the unstable uh, social media app of Twitter at Small Shadow Snack. And then I am over on Hive at Aurelia Crane. Uh, I do have a Tumblr, but I barely ever use it. So why, why, why bother? All right, last but certainly not least, Ursringer. It's all good, Rhea. I know you made me last on purpose, so I can't have nice things. What's up, y'all? You already know it's Ursringer. Y'all know where to find me. I'm all over Twitch. I'm all over YouTube. I'm on several different pages on YouTube now. Good grief. I ain't going through that right now because we're getting started. And Walt Ratchet in the building. Let's do it. All right, and with that, I will remind everyone that Vampire the Masquerade can be a dark universe, and as a result, bad things can and most likely will happen. So please do what you need to do in order to take care of yourself. Uh, if you need to step away, mute, or what have you, please do so. And uh, I have spoken with all of our wonderful people here, and they have gone over many things about what makes them comfortable and uncomfortable and we've taken care of that uh, so please your comfort is our number one priority that being said it is time for our vampires to once again take to the streets as the life of cleveland begins to die down our coterie begins to awaken can i have each of you make a rouse check as the vitae yeah. begins to flow through your veins and is that a success? It is. Nice. Gotta have a success sometime, right? Oh, no. Die, no. <laughs> but that's... You know no. it. It's a two. <laughs> you know it. Oh, no. Come, We gotta get you some corpses. Yeah. <laughs> Not like this. Is there anyone at oh, right. hunger four or higher now? No, I'm up to two, though. Two. Same. Okay. Well, Walt's always gonna be a little hungry. Mm -hmm. Okay. Because vegetarian. Yeah. <laughs> Why? why All right. Only rolling. Why did it say it only rolled one dice for my hunger dice? It said dice rolled one. Why does it say I'm at hunger? Oh, three? check. I don't feel like. Oh I yeah, that's right. Because yeah. I'm dumb. Feel that much hunger last time. Yeah. I mean, I wasn't right. keeping track of your hunger, so I don't. I don't know. Okay. But I've already forgotten how to play the game. All right. Well, now that you all have awakened. In our last session, you all were tasked with one of three goals, mm -hmm. and you did successfully obtain the object, the uh, the uh, Egyptian burial urn, for your benefactor. There was a bit of a hiccup when local law enforcement came across what you were doing, but that was handled decisively, thanks to Tansy and her connections. So I don't get no credit. Okay. I see how it is. I see how it is. The, the next night, you all are expecting to receive instructions on the second task you must complete. So as you all are sitting around your new 
haven. What would you like to do? You gotta go get something to eat. <laughs> yeah, I was about to say, first off, we're going to get something to eat. <laughs> Absolutely. Can't okay, just throw us right into the thick of it, talking about our hunger die, and then at the same time I'll be like, and you're gonna go on another adventure. <laughs> no, dog. We're getting food. All right, how will check that? Ah, <sighs> Walt's going in them sewers because he's still got away on his rabbits. Gonna <laughs> hunt in our territory. Yeah, you better believe it. Yep, yeah, me too. Okay. I'm a very hungry hippo. Okay. All right. So give me the hunting role associated with your hunting type, and we'll see how that goes. Mm-hmm. Okay. What's my wits and animal can? Let me see. Six with a messy crit. Composure and animal can. Okay. What the heck? Oh, it didn't. Well, it didn't roll. It, it 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 has a set DC, so you can't change the DC. I guess you could put mine. And then I get my specialty, so that's five die. Okay. Yeah, because I would say if it's supposed to, if hunting in your own domain is supposed to affect the difficulty, but you can't change the difficulty on the actual predator roll, then how's that supposed to work? Do we get to add yes. our um, <laughs> modifiers from our? Uh, Haven. Well, I guess you could just look at what you roll. Oh, I'm just you don't have to modify the roll thing. Uh, <sighs> okay. Wait, are we doing it? In you the, just I did... we we're doing it in the Haven area. Yeah. No, then the, you just need three successes or more to succeed on your hunt. All right. Well, that would if well, so uh, but you said the thing reduced the difficulty of hunting rolls in our area, right? Yes, yeah, so so you're normally you need six successes. Oh, you you need three six successes. Total successes. Now you only need three. Mm -hmm. Oh, okay. I thought you said it reduced the difficulty. I get to add my specialty and the hope for the best. Well, In fifth edition, difficulty re refers to the number of successes you need, not the diff the number on the dice. Gotcha. Okay. So it looks like both. Why did it only roll? It said it only rolled three dice for me again, and my wits plus stealth is fine. It rolled five dice for you. It separated them into normal dice and hunger dice. So you got five, uh, four successes, but you actually got six successes with a messy crit. Oh, uh, so then yeah. we've got yeah, two. I don't so, know how to read? That's hard too. So, Walt Reshi, you only have two successes. So you attempt to find some animals, and you manage to find a rat or two, but it isn't enough to satisfy your hunger. Unfortunately, you have failed. Can I do it again? In a moment. For <laughs> Vegas, tell me how you went about your hunt tonight, Vegas. Well, Vegas is a lurker in the crowd. Me too. So okay. how? So what did Vegas do for their hunt? Where did they go? Uh, anywhere near the haven in the territory that had at least a decent part of a crowd and just snuck up on somebody. All right. So you are going to have a messy crit, which means you are going to reveal your nature to someone tonight. But I'm going to let you decide what that looks like. So how does Vegas fail his hunt? Uh, probably lets the person see his face, but he's got the obscure merit, so it's not like they're going to remember it for long. Hmm. No, did you? All right. So while Vegas is con commencing with their hunt and their difficulties, Anosh, how does your messy critical happen? Vegas sounds like a copy of Anosh. <laughs> Um, well, uh, I mean, again, also, ex almost the exact same things, crowd, uh, face, does, face is not remembered very well, uh, by, by most that see them. Um, so, uh, yeah, I mean, probably is, are, are there any, like, busy areas around us? Because that's usually where he would hunt, he would hunt within crowds, 
uh, or crowded areas. There are residential areas around that you could find um, kind of central hubs for activity. Uh, it's the weekend, so there are also just kind of groups of people going about their lives, um, going about nightlife and things like that. So you could find some people. Okay. Probably, I'd say you probably wound up um, crashing a house party or something for some college kids and uh, and uh, and got, um, and, and maybe... The uh, the person that he was was draining um, got a better look at him than he intended um, when he was uh, kind of like coming in to get them. He thought he was trying to catch him off guard, but uh, he slipped a little bit. Didn't work quite as in, unless you want them to just be dead and splattered all over the wall. But uh, I only really need to take one point, so I don't really want to go down to zero. You can take a single point of hunger and satisfy it. Uh, what about you, Vegas? How much hunger are you satisfying tonight? Two. Okay. All right. Can I have both of you roll me a d10, please? <laughs> oh, oh, oh. Hell yeah. Here comes the Inquisition. Five. Five. I got a two. Okay. As you all spend uh, the beginning parts of the evening hunting, there are two simultaneous events, rumors that begin to spread throughout the, the neighborhood of monsters and hunting in the night. Uh, no one's quite sure if it's true. No one's quite sure if it's not just a bunch of kids playing games. But there are rumors. After about an hour, the two of you rejoin your other two companions, Walt, after a failed uh, attempt at hunting. Uh, Tansy, are you hunting as well? I am, yes. Um, and I rolled four successes um, to um, feed off the dead. Um, I did the medicine resolve. So I, uh, you know, scurried out to my favorite local morgue and... Um, Broke through my, my favorite little window and uh, found found something, you know, not, not too fresh, but relatively fresh. Okay. You are able to get in and out unnoticed. A, a, a well-executed hunt. Um, do I believe, do you have the, what is it, the stomach merit, the iron, what is it, iron skillet or... I don't, but I didn't know if I... I, I, I don't, actually. Um, why did I not... I don't know why I didn't take that. Or your grave robber? Yeah. Grave robber is my predator type. I didn't think I needed that as a grave robber. You should have got it with its merit, as a merit of it. Yes, uh, it's Iron Gullet under Chronicles. It should be under, under your background. Okay. Oh yeah, there it is. It's the first one I have. Yeah, I've got three points in that. Yep. All right. You are able to take two points of hunger from the corpse. That is all. Nope, that's enough to make me happy. All right. All right. Now that the four of you have come back together, you all are recovering from your ah. hunt. Some more happy than others. But before you all can decide what to do next, there is a knock. At your door. Uh, once again, Tansy leaps behind the couch, um, waiting to see who is at the other side of the door. Walt's well, gonna sigh and get up and open the door. He's he's too disappointed in himself. You open the door. You see the familiar visage of Ishtar. Uh, this time, she's wearing a traditional pantsuit, a kind of a darker gray color. Uh, you can see that she does have a a belt on and seems to have a number of pouches, though you aren't quite sure what's inside them. But she looks at you all and steps into the haven. Good evening. Evening. Hello again. Hello. I am well, here to... I am here to give you your next set of instructions. A woman has been a bit of a problem 
a former ghoul to be exact. Her name is Angela Batsowski. We need her to be dealt with before she becomes a threat to the masquerade. Currently, we believe she is living somewhere in downtown at an apartment complex called Evening Sun. That it is Per. Yes. Okay. Per sounds yes. So I'll, I'll put it in the, in the chat and green. Okay. It is paramount that this is taken care of effectively and quietly. She is familiar with the way things work and should have taken proper safeguards to keeping herself immune to our attempts. And we cannot afford for this to be an issue with the masquerade. Are there any questions? Can she fight? Perhaps. I mean, if you know so much about her, I, th I thought you would kind of know, like, you know, she could do some kung fu or, you know, swing a sword like Sanson over there. I, I have never met her myself. You know anybody that has? No, I do not. Walt looks concerned. You, you say former ghoul. Um, so who, um... Who was like she, uh, who was in charge of her? Well, I understand it was a Torador who was no longer with us. I do not know why, or was it my place to ask? Well, just, you know, just know what we're dealing with. We all want I'm afraid to I success. cannot tell you more. I cannot tell you more than that. Her dormitory was a toy or of some age, from what I've heard. But I cannot tell you what gifts she may have or what security she may use. You know the layout of this apartment complex? I know I it is a... Address. I know it is upscale. I know it is... Has at least some technological security systems in place. But I was not told much more than that. This is meant to be a test for you all, so I am under the impression you are to have as little information as possible before you begin. Oh, well, Tansy is excellent with technology. I have already uh, started pulling up. I'm trying to find her on Facebook, Twitter, trying to find out any social media information that I can about her. And I've probably also sent a quick text to uh, Gabriella and said, hey, have you heard of this person? But once Roll I found her on me. Facebook, I probably sent a photo of her if, if I was able Roll. to find her. Roll me an intelligence and technology roll. All right, all right, let's do this. Question, ma'am. Um, how yeah. long has her domitor been? About a decade. What that even mean? Uh, assuming if he's been dead that long and she hasn't found a new one. She may be you missing see, some of the fun stuff. You see the problem? Yeah, I see the problem. So you mean they, like, need it when they like that? Yeah, she shouldn't be alive if it's been that long. I mean, you know, if... It, it all depends on, like, how long she's been a ghoul. Well, Aaron scratches at his hair. His oily hair. <laughs> He has not showered. <laughs> Thank you. I, I only got one success on that uh, intelligence. Um. Um, you find her social media profiles. Most of them you find are blocked and privated. Not not blocked. Um, so you aren't able to find out too much. You do find that she hasn't posted any pictures of herself in 
probably two years. You can see that there are some pictures where she's tagged in them, but anyone that would kind of show her, they seem to be taken from an angle where you can't really see her, the front of her, you kind of get like a side profile, which makes it a bit hard to tell what she looks like. Um, I would say with Tansy's experience, you recognize it as something that a number of kindred will do to make sure that it's hard to track a age over time through pictures to make it hard to figure out just how old they are. So you get the impression that she is at least competent at hiding some of the effects that she would gain from the Vitae. All right. Um. Am I able to get like a basic physical description of her, like what color hair to expect, relative height, weight, any of that information? Yes, yeah, so you get the, she is generally a brunette, about average build, um, darker skinned, uh, well, approaching more tan than dark skinned, you think. Um, she, usually her hair is about shoulder length from what you can tell, um, and it's straight. You figure she may be Hispanic, perhaps. You aren't too sure. Um, but that's about generally what you find out. Okay, guys. So I know it's not great, but this is sort of generally what she looks like, at least according to other people that think they know her. I show the picture around, uh, text it to everybody. Um, although probably not Anush since... Unless you don't have a phone with, you don't have a smartphone, do you? Okay. I mean, I, I I believe I have a phone. I'm not because I'm not a Lasamba, right? So I don't yeah. uh, have to worry about just melting all the technology immediately. Uh, so he probably would have had uh, a phone of sorts, although he may not have um, something that's too complicated, something simple. <laughs> That he can throw away if he needs to. You know Walt don't. Maybe Whoa. maybe one of those old Motorola flip phones so you can use it as a weapon too. Hey, indestructible. <laughs> Walt's too paranoid, especially after the last last couple <laughs> situations. He's too paranoid. He's gonna think he's being tracked and he's got warrants. <laughs> but um He'd attempt to peek over Tansy's shoulder and then Oh yeah, I'm just I'm showing it to you like, all right, this is who we're looking for. She looks sort of like this. My boy smells like sewer. I'm I'm just saying. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Oh, okay, you see that precious? Make sure you memorize that face. <gasps> that's the face of somebody that could kill us. <laughs> I let Precious sniff the phone. Yo, what's Precious thinking right now, Ray? <laughs> Nothing. You are a hater. You are a awful hater. They have a bond and you know it. You can understand. It's familiar. Wow. Okay, the disrespect. Walt is going to try and make an appeal to Ishtar. Since we completed the first task, I request a boom. No. Wow. <laughs> I don't even get to roll. You are such a... <laughs> well, what, are you trying to intimidate them? Like, what are you trying to do? You're just asking a question. You're getting Requested an answer. a boom. <laughs> they're like, can I have this? And they're like, no. <laughs> I mean, like, please? No, your task is a result of your actions. No boons are owed to you for this. I didn't say you owed me. That's why I requested one. You do not request a boon. Yes, you do. No, you do not. I guess someone ain't been to college in a long time. I have My delivered the message. As it has been entrusted to me, I will leave the form of you to determine how to best approach this situation. And if Star turns and leaves. Uh, Walt's going to check on his rabbit cage. 
seem to be doing fine. Have we had any new births yet? No. So I still have the same three rabbits, Doug? Sure, I don't know the birth rate of rabbits. They breed super fast. That's why I picked rabbits. They breed stupid fast. True. Notoriously so. Yeah, that's why they say fuck like rabbits. I will, yes. I will look into it later. Not, not as fast as chickens, though. Maybe you should have got some chicken dinner, Walt. <laughs> Yo, chickens are way messier. I mean, yeah, but but they lay about one egg a day. And they're much noisier too. That's the thing about it. So that's okay. Deal with some chickens. I'm like, mock, 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 mock. Chickens at the cemetery. Okay. Mock, mock. Well, the inside, right? You'll notice them from the outside. They're also not as loud as so you think. What all would right. you all like to do? Walt grabs his bag, like, All right, I'm letting y'all know. I'm still a little hangry. I couldn't get nothing. Oh, poor, poor Walt. <laughs> Maybe we can, um, maybe do they have like pet delivery services? Like, we can Uber Eats you a, a dog or something. Does that work like that? I don't know. I don't, my, I've heard things, but I ain't never heard them <laughs> Uber eating no pet. If you have enough money, like anything is possible, but I don't think that there's like an app for that. All right, all I'm going to say is if I see a deer running around, I might be tempted. Like, I, I suppose there's still probably people wandering about the neighborhoods, perhaps. So uh, there's an animal tied up somewhere. You never know. So there are bad pet owners out there. Oh, this is so hard. <laughs> I just want to make sure that you are taking care of you, Walt. Well, Walt taking care of Walt would mean Walt was going to try and hunt for himself again. <laughs> Wouldn't want you to be feeling uncomfortable when it's time to, you know, get back <laughs> to business. Can I hunt again, y'all? I mean, I don't know. Can you? I mean, y'all trying to go right now? I mean, we could, you could always use the time to go do some research or y'all can start without me or something. I mean, my friend was so useful last time, and I need, you know, a bit of time to get him back and up here with us. So, you know, I could spend a couple minutes. All right, I'm going to head out. Come on, precious. Walt's going to attempt to hunt again. Okay, because you are hunting again in the same area, the difficulty will increase by one. Why do you hate the... <laughs> I don't know, Rose. <sighs> okay. That means he's probably going to have to succeed on all of his die. Oh my gosh. I believe in you, Walt. Somebody's got to. Four successes again. I mean, how many successes is it the second time? I thought we're, if we're hunting in our area, I thought it was supposed to only be three that he needed. Yeah, so just three. You, uh, it went up by one because of the fact that you're trying a second roll of the same type. So it's four. Is this meat to beat? Is this meat to beat? You got yes, four. You got four. Okay. All right, good. Okay. Yes. You nailed it. You are they able to air. gain enough for one point of hunger, but because of your That's merit, it will be two. No, I can only take uh, the one because of vegetarian. He's always going to have a dot of hunger, an additional dot of hunger. Right. So you are able to find something to hunt, and you are back with your companions within about half an hour, we'll say. Well, actually, I will have fed Precious then since I have the extra dot, so there we go. There you go. There you go. Oh. So proud of Walt. Yeah. You grow up so fast. 
All right. Now that the we four all of you are together. Walt's got to check his utility bag once again. Knives still sharp and everything. We still got the spray. I'm gonna be like, hey, Shash. Mm -hmm. You still got that pet uh, part of acid I gave you? Oh, wow. My voice just gave all the way out. <laughs> still got that little pot of acid I gave you? Actually, I do. And he pulls it out to toss it to Walt. I like your dog like that. <laughs> If things are made to break, you know. Oh, it's uh, you know, you you you're such a good hunter. I have, you're just you're just reinforcing my faith in you, one step at a time, Walt. You're nowhere to go but up. Y'all might need it. I was gonna say, hold on to it. Oh, okay. I mean, I ain't gonna be the one to exactly get in a fight. Like I can back you up and keep the car hot. and keep the engine running. I know about the new guy. Keep a low profile. Keep the police <laughs> busy. <laughs> Walt gets the thumbs up. <laughs> but yeah, that's, that's Walt, essentially. He's just double-checking his bag. He doesn't have time to make anything. So he's as ready as he can be. Oh, wait, can he catch another spider? Just house spider? <laughs> sure. In case I need to do my ritual. My only ritual. <laughs> My one, my only. My precious. All right. So are you all heading out to the apartment building? Uh, yeah, I want to resummon uh, my spirit. Um, okay. I passed my rouse check for it. Seven. Actually, I will say, since you've already summoned it before, you won't have to resummon it again. Oh, cool, because I still had four favors left. Excellent. Mm -hmm. Nice. Fabulous. All right. Cool. Then I am ready to go. All right. In that case, the four of you make your way downtown. It won't be a very long drive, so if there's any conversations you all wish to have, you may do so. If not... Uh, we will move forward. I mean, y'all got a discreet way of handling all this? Like, what's the well, plan? Like, I mean, is it a, is it a, a are they in a, they're in a sky rise, you said, right? I believe, or if I'm remembering right, it was in some kind of a high rise building that we were, or was it it's like some sort of expensive apartment complex. You know, she lives towards the top, yes. Oh, she is at the top. I wonder, I wonder if her building is the highest building in the area, or if we could maybe, if there's any lines of sight from other nearby adjoining buildings. Oh, you mean like a stakeout? Yeah. Can I get a better look at what we're maybe getting ourselves into? I mean, it can't hurt. Rather than just, I mean, we could just kick in the door, but. Well, I mean, we don't, we don't really know which apartment's hers. We just know she's there. Right. Yeah, exactly. So we'd be kicking in a lot of doors, potentially. First, I'm pretty sure this place going to have cameras. Well, I mean, I could probably, we could probably I mean, make some hoods. Sebastian was here, this wouldn't be a problem. It's okay. With ski masks are cheap. But Sebastian left us for some reason. Can you do the same thing, new guy? Do what? You know, like, you know, you, when you walk past that technology and then just go on the fritz, you know what I'm saying? Oh, Black no. Out. Oh, no. My specialty is punching things in the face. I mean, if you punch it, it goes on the fritz, too. Uh, yeah, sure. Why not? I punch it. It's not like I can die via electricity. You can't? We're like, I mean, if I catch on fire, that's a possibility, but we're like 
Dead, dead. <laughs> well, it's going to have to be like a pretty strong revelation. taser, Walt. T Tansy, question. Mm -hmm. Why have you taught him nothing? Because it's funnier this way. You are so lucky Walt cannot frown at that. <laughs> <laughs> And and he's just so sweet. And you know, I there's something just so pure about his innocence. Okay. Okay. I'll I'll leave it at that. Okay. But also it's really funny. <laughs> if look look it, it it's it's amusing, but when um we're having to do dangerous things, and he doesn't know what we're capable of. It, it, it little bit, little bit of problem. You know, experience is the best teacher I find, and uh, what better way to get experience than to learn by doing? Sometimes you just gotta fall down and bump your head over and over and over and over again. <laughs> Okay, brain damage. is the oldest. He should be the one imparting all of this great wisdom and knowledge. Oh, we all come from different walks, as it were. Oh, oh all right. Look here. The one thing, well, the two things that can kill us: your head being taken off, or you getting lit on fire, and not being able to put it out in time. Those are the two things you have to worry about. I mean, I know about the fire part, and I figured, like, the head can kill anybody. Exactly. But, yeah, no, me taking out some powers is not gonna... Hey, Tansy, you, you summoned the uh, the guy? Yeah, yeah, he's here. Yo, Renato's oh, here? Why is Renato here? Renato's not here. here. Why don't you just send him through the building to find the person? So you mean the ghost guy is not Renato? I thought you said Renato can do that. Well... I don't know a whole lot of things, and I don't know everything he can do, so maybe. But no, no, my buddy here, he's going to go in, and just like last time, he's going to scope it out and report back. If he Is that what find, happened? If he can find, like, the security system, I can probably get in there and just... Okay, so he needs to find the security system and apartment number? Yes. Unless somebody wants to sweet talk the person at the front desk. I would not be good at that. Yeah, I'm not. It's, it's not me. I mean, I can exchange a few words or two if you need me to do something like that. When the car gets to, like, a stopping point, Vegas is just going to hand Tansy a bottle of cologne. <laughs> <laughs> yep. Look here, it, he 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 smells like sewer. They're not gonna believe him if he doesn't smell at least a little decent. And I I think I think Precious might need to stay with us though. You can see Walt's a little sad about this. <laughs> or or you could send Precious in another way if you have a way to make sure that she comes back. Just. I, no, you, you're right, you're right. Precious might need to wait with one of y'all. Well, that's Precious, of course. Uh, can I, like, pull out a, a comb or brush or something out of my purse to try and clean Walt up? <laughs> I'm trying to think. I, I feel like Tansy would have a, a fair amount of random beauty items like a makeup wipe can i like makeup wipe his face <laughs> <laughs> you're trying you better off saving the wipes like walt can like do something else but if you want him to run charisma he has a plan don't forget my boy can lie that's one thing he can you just do. gotta you just gotta go <laughs> all right he's all cleaned up now Just get those eyebrows. 
kind of bushy eyebrows. I kind of like run it over his hair to try and get whatever muck I can out of it. Walt is well, enjoying this but trying to hide it. <laughs> don't worry, the sword is very sharp. Can shave anything. Right, at this point, you all have arrived outside of the apartment building. Well, we're here. How does it look? What do we see? It's it's a multi-story building situated not quite in the center of downtown, maybe three blocks away. Oh, kind yeah. of. It's it's definitely one of those apartment buildings for the wealthier. Uh, in the city. It's very nice. There is a doorman who is kind of standing out front. You can tell that beyond the first door is a second one that will require either a person to buzz you in or someone to have some sort of code that would indicate that you live in the building. Um, you are not, you haven't done a full look around the building, so you don't know if there's any other entrances. And you can tell the building looks like maybe five stories tall. You don't know if there is a a way onto the roof from where you're standing, but you can tell that it is it is a flat roof. Okay. Okay, okay, okay. Oh, mm -hmm. this is a fortress. <laughs> well, uh I mean Tansy, your your newfound companion is very useful. Probably more useful than any of us can be individually at the moment for these kind of scouting expeditions, I would say, let them have at it. You know, I was thinking the same thing. Okay. Although, we should probably try to give them as specific information as we can to look for, right? Because just looking for random people. No, no, no. I was going to send him into the security room, because Vegas wanted security room info, and I think that'd be very useful just in general. Um, Especially since this person seems weird, and I don't know who her friends are, and having like a, I don't know, it just seems like we should do that. And then um, I was also going to send him up to the top floors and see if he can like poke around and find Angela and get her apartment number. I'm going to yeah. activate Sense the Unseen and look at the building. <laughs> you don't see any supernatural things. No clothes or anything like that, just looking at the building. Um, if there is something specific you wish to check for, uh, let me know, and then we'll see. I'm going to, to check for any sort of wards. Oh. Uh, you can just roll, I believe it should be resolve. Mm -hmm. And Authbex. Yeah. I'll spend a point of willpower on that. Nothing. I am not a wizard. <laughs> I mean, nothing seems out of the ordinary to you. Everything appears words. fine. There do not appear to be traps. Did you hear that? There's no traps. You're going to be perfectly fine. Um, mechanically, is looking for two rooms, uh, two separate things in this place. Is that one favor or two? Looking for each thing would be one separate request. Okay, cool. I just want to make sure that I'm keeping track of that. We're on the same page. Mm -hmm. All right. See, look, it's going to be easy. There's nothing that can keep you out. Just, you know, go in and report back. <laughs> the reluctant wraith does disappear a short time. And while you're all waiting, what are you doing? Well, I'm gonna go take a walk, see if there's a back door, just in case. It's a good idea. I think it's probably wise to case the outside of the building a little bit. Uh, well, maybe here are the keys. The well, surrounding area on. as well, and see if there's anything unusual that kind of stands out. Mm -hmm. I will... I can't I'm look at the power again. Uh, activate my um, silence of death so that I'm not making noise mm -hmm. as I'm walking around. Since it's free. Vegas <laughs> is just putting a cigarette in his mouth and lighting it and kind of putting his hands in his coat pockets and it's like looking like he's going to just go for a walk. All right. You kind can both roll dexterity and larceny. 
but I'm not stealing okay. anything. Roused for Dixie. You are casing the place. Walt's going to heighten his uh, eyesight. I roused for uh, dexterity and path. What is with these dice? Spend another point of willpower. Yeah, two successes. Roll yeah, have, two, two successes, too. I have no points in larceny. Yeah. With two successes? You don't see anything different. I'm um, walking around. You aren't sure if this building has any kind of sub-level to it. You do see there are two other entrances, kind of on, one on the street side and then one towards the exact back of the building. But each one of those requires a keypad entrance that you would need to get past. Um, you know, there are a number of windows that lead to what looks to be other apartments as well as you're looking around. But any cameras on the doors? The front door has a camera, but the two, the back door and the side door do not. I th Is Inish anywhere nearby? Uh, it, well, I figured too. we probably went uh, yeah. in different directions unless yeah. you want, unless you told him that we wanted to stick together. No, no. he. If we went different directions, he's just going to kind of wait for you to loop the building. Cover more ground that way. Yeah. Well, do I run to Vegas first or some unfortunate demise? I mean, it would be it would meet up with your coterie mate. No cameras on the side door, keypad entry, but I'm pretty sure I could probably bust through that door. Yeah, most of these. This is not a well. This is not some secure government facility. I don't foresee too much high level security on the ground floor. Yeah. Does this feel weird to you at all? I mean, she did say it was a test, right? So there's probably more to it than it seems. Kind of curious if she found a new boss. As in, she's sending us to get rid of her old boss? No, no. She the lady who stopped by said her old boss had been dead for 10 years. Seems kind of weird they wouldn't have taken her out in those 10 years. But also kind of weird because normally they'd probably search out somebody else. Well, I mean, we're Articles of convenience at the moment, uh, due to our recent series of unfortunate events. So, yeah, I mean, I don't know. That's uh, that, that is some interesting. Those are some interesting speculations that we should probably investigate. Although I don't know if we necessarily have the time right now. <sighs> No, I don't think we have the time, but maybe something to keep your eyes out for. It's okay. Just keep your fangs sharp. We can eat our way through any trouble that comes along. Oof. Yeah, not a problem. Let's head back to them. Yeah, it's a little well, quiet out here. While you are waiting, Tansy... Your wraith does return. 435. 435? Okay, is that the um, apartment number? Or does that do the security room? Apartment number. Fabulous, darling. Fabulous. And um, security, what about that? The wraith pauses. I did not find anything out of the ordinary. Uh, I am going to use my 
I have a ghostly dominance. So I'm going to try to like command them to tell me what they found uh, specifically. Um, and the way I do this, um, is Vegas back in eyesight yet? Not yet. Not at this point. Not yet. Okay. Uh, in that case, I'm going to uh, take that photograph of them and I am going to put it in my mouth and scrape my fang and like lightly scrape my fangs across it and say, uh, you're going to tell me exactly what you found, if there's a security room and where it is, everything like that. All of it. Now. I believe that would be a, a manipulation or charisma role when intimidation. All right. So I get, do I get to add my three bonus for that? Yes, I believe if that is what the, the merit does, yes. And I, don't, I don't know what that one does. It's on uh, 102 of Children of the Blood. But yeah, three bonus dice to any rolls. To, when you damage a race fetter, loved ones, or ectoplasmic form, you receive three bonus dice to any rolls to command them. I'll see this that this counts. All right, and then you said that was manipulation, which is two plus one, and then what was the last one? I'm sorry. Str uh, manipulation, intimidation. Intimidation, perfect. Ooh, look, that's three more for me. All right, one, two. Ooh, that's a zero. Three. That's a one. Four, five, five successes and and one critical fail. There is a security office on the first floor, and there are security cameras on every floor. I, I kind of like pat his ghostly head. Like, see, that wasn't so hard, was it? I despise you. Oh, I don't like you either. You're just useful, sweetheart. Are we able to, like, see this interaction going on in real time? Or is this, like... Um, I would say you all would be arriving at the end of this conversation. And Walt's still with me, yeah, so Walt, Walt, Walt would have all Yes, Walt, Walt would have experienced, yes. Well, well I mean, Walt... Tansy talking. Yeah, yes, Walt does not have the ability to see this. Mm -hmm. But you can put two and two together. This character is smarter. <laughs> okay. So, yeah. And I tell everybody what the um, what my wraith told me, who I feel like I named him Bruce last time, but if I didn't, I feel like that's absolutely in Tansy's character to have this uh, wraith that she does not even care to remember his name. Forever Bruce. <laughs> <laughs> He's Bruce, Bruce, whether he is or isn't. <laughs> that is the name you chose last time. Perfect. Side doors have no camera. Front has the camera plus the doorman. We want to get in. Theoretically, we can get in through the side. Or somebody can try and bluff their way in through the front. We can bluff our way through the front, but... And she's in 435, but there's a security office on the ground floor, and then there's cameras on each and every floor. And I'm imagining that's probably even in the stairwells. So couldn't be able to avoid that. Spooky didn't look in the staircase. Did Spooky look in the staircase? Are there are there um cameras in the stairwells? Yes. Yes, that is correct. Mm. I mean, y'all was talking about wars earlier. Was uh, like Bruce discovered? Well, he came back to me, so and he seemed to get everywhere he needed to go. I mean, if it's that same dude, you know that you got from the picture from the apartment and all that. It don't seem like he'd be too keen to tell you something like this. 
Oh, no, no, he definitely didn't. Um, but he did. Okay, as long as you don't think Bruce is mine. He better not be. Okay, here's the thing. I don't know for sure about any wards. Hey, hey, Bruce, did you see any wards, sweetheart? <laughs> no. Pinky promise swear? I did not see any wards. Well, he, he Pinky promise swore he didn't see any. That works for me. But Walt still has the blood box. <laughs> I mean, if, if not, he knows what could possibly happen. Mm-hmm. Mm. Walt just raised an eyebrow. He knows better than to ask right now. <laughs> right, so side door. Someone goes for the security room. People wait until the cameras go down. And this, you're, you're good at this kind of stuff. What do you, what, like, if, plan of attack, what do you think? How are we going to synchronize with each other? Like, we don't have communicators or nothing. Like... Do, you, do you have a watch? Clock of some kind? Do you well, just want to walk around with your phone? I mean, if one person goes to the security room, knocks it out, then can tell the rest of them, and go, they can go upstairs once the cameras are out. Well, I guess y'all are that cool. Y'all can pull off, you know... Whackish somebody with one hand and all that, so you I mean, need I'm one hand it. to hold the phone and one hand to use whatever y'all gonna do. I mean, I can't like I'm not super sneaky, so maybe we leave that for the expert. Okay, so yeah, you saying yeah. you gonna break the console and then come back out and then Sasson gonna go in and I mean, really just shut the system down. I mean, this all y'all. I'm just keeping the car hot. If you need me to fix something, I can do that. Like, you need a knife shopping? <laughs> well, I guess the first question is... I know we didn't notice anything that looked super out of the ordinary. Did we notice any normal-looking security cameras outside? Are there any side doors that we're talking about? Um, only at the front door. Only at the front door? Mm-hmm. It'd be really weird if there wasn't a security camera on the back door. It's probably one inside. Maybe. Well, perhaps I hey. should get a cardboard box. I, I mean, can you do the thing where you like go completely n invisible? Maybe. I uh, I can, although I don't believe it. I don't believe it, it makes me invisible to electronic surveillance. Oh. Right, Re? That is correct, unless you have it'll, ghosts in the show. It only, it yeah, only tricks people. Oh. The other one is specifically for electronics, but not for people. You can't have you can't have both. Well one of us is not gonna have to go through that front door. That's fine. Um I mean, the back door is fine, too. Uh, really, I suppose, is the, you said there's a person at the front, like, kind of desk or whatever, or is there even a front desk? Because usually... From what have... you can see, there is a doorman at the front entrance, the main entrance. What time is it? About 9 p.m. Oh, okay. Not that late, then. Um, Want to wait until later? That's Wait, what, what's, what's this lady's name? Angela Versaski. Is there like a place that sells flowers around here? Well, do you have any hats? Do you have any hats? In Nine p.m. at night? No. You could go Not to like, like a, a, grocery a grocery store, store and you'd probably yeah. find something. Let's go. Probably go to a grocery store eagle, and though. try your luck. <laughs> yeah, How nice far away is the nearest hat. grocery store? From grocery store. We're in the middle of downtown. You better not lie. You could get there. You go get to a grocery store quickly. Um, if you were looking for one that would sell like actual flowers, it might take you maybe a ten minute walk. All right, hold here. I've got a plan. Okay. I, just, I, um, I, have, a, 
if 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 I can find a big hat, that'll probably help with the security. Well, I'm I don't have time to buy a big hat. Like I got this old baseball cap that I use from time to time. You want to um, wear a baseball cap, seriously? I'm gonna go to the grocery store and just buy a random thing of flowers. <laughs> they might have big hats at the grocery store. Should we all go? I mean, I'm not exactly <laughs> smelling like I should be visiting the grocery store right now, but. I mean, they get homeless people wandering into the grocery store all the time. It's probably fine. Walt's not going to risk it. <laughs> he knows what night are you? Because it'll be him leaving precious too. You know what? Are I'll you like activating? You. Are you blush activating the blush of life? Yes. And now I'm hungrier. Yeah, Walt should do that anyway. Uh, yeah, because he'll be sitting idle in the car. He should do that anyway. Oh, we're sitting in the car. No one's gonna notice. Yeah, I mean, we got cameras and stuff like that, and it's well lit. We're in the middle of downtown, so in rich, the rich complex. Can't Ooh. risk it. Yep, Walt got a dot hungrier, so we <laughs> back at it again. I accept your logic. Hey, I passed. Saddle, I nice. I got a six. Thank God. The blood begins to flow through your bodies, and for just a moment, you feel alive again. Uh, those of you who are going to purchase flowers and a big hat, uh, you are able to do so without any any issues. Is there anything else you wish to do to attempt before you attempt to enter this building? While we're waiting, like, in the car, I am going to take a nail file out of my, like, handbag and start filing down Precious's nails. Yes. Yes. Okay. Michelle, look, look, just a little bit of edge, Tansy. Just a little bit of edge. Like, you know, Precious might have to put the hurting on somebody, so. <laughs> you okay. know, skunks are known for digging, so they, they, they kind of need to be able to... <laughs> Oh, oh, do you, do you want me to sharpen them? I could, like, actually give them, like, uh, like pointed ends, so they're, like, extra sharp. I'm gonna hold on that, just because I, I want to respect, uh, you know, big guy's interior of their car. I want to scratching it up, so maybe we can do that when we get back. Okay, I'll just, um, I'll, I'll work on getting it started, though. Walt is happy. <laughs> Excellent. Is Precious happy, too, Ree? <laughs> She's Precious. No. Answer the question. You think so? <laughs> so? I think so. Now that now that you all have the flowers and big hat, what do you do now? Well, I'm gonna get this nice big hat on in a best as I can to kind of shield vision of my face from. Uh, above and the sides uh, and uh, I guess we can go approach this front doorman person okay. who are in two is entering the building yeah are, we, are, are is Vegas coming with or is, yeah is, okay The two with a giant head and another dude in a bouquet just walking up. Yeah, he's just got it fluffed on his arm. All right, Mo, roll me manipulation and subterfuge. Both of you. Yeah, y'all get to be Walt tonight. It's going to be lovely. Subterfuge. Stay here. I got the. I got the. I got the best. I got the biggest manipulation and subterfuge. What's going on with my gosh darn dice tonight? Yeah, three successes of the messy. Three. Well, wait, it's, it's, does that actually count as a crit? One, one of the successes was a hunger die, so. Not a crit, though, I don't no, think. It's not a crit. It's good. All it's right. good so, three. How many did Vegas get? Three. All right, you will get through the first door. The uh, doorman gives you a polite nod, but doesn't say anything. 
And then you enter into the the second, you enter into the room proper with a second door. You can see that there is a, a mechanical box to one side that has a number of various apartments on each floor uh, with the first names of the people who are in them. Um, and there is a page button as well. And then there is a door number pad. How are you going forward? Any of the numbers on the door are uh, women, besides uh, our person we're looking for? Sure. He'll ring one of them. There is a silence for a moment before there's a kind of a um, static -y pop and then a voice. Hello? Oh, uh, hi. Um, this is. I've got a delivery of flowers for somebody. Uh, I, th I think it's you. The, the handwriting on this is rather smudged. Oh. Oh, well, that's okay. Um, well, I could guess I can page you up rather quickly. Um, and a moment later, you do hear that kind of buzzing static sound, and the door is unlocked. I'm going to open it and just your furnished walk in. Excellent. All right, you all are inside. You can see that on this floor, the rooms start at zero and then go in even numbers all the way down. Where'd Spooky yeah. say the security room was? On the uh, first floor. Surely marked, probably. They usually are. Are there any people in here? Any what look like um, other security guards or uh, like person on duty? People. No. You do see there is a door that is labeled double zero. And that is the it is on the far end of the hallway. Are there any visible cameras or like those little orbs kind of on the ceiling that just look black to kind of hide the direction the camera's yes. facing? You can see one in on both ends of the hall. Okay, I'm just going to kind of tilt my head down a little bit to obscure my face. Sure. And uh, what do you think? The room at the far end? Probably. Let's go take a look. Dun, 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 dun. Hey, man, uh, somebody with just this da, big old da, head da, walks da. <laughs> so As you approach, do you just open the door? I'm going to test the door handle. Yeah. Does it or block? after I rest my ear against it to see if I can hear anything inside. What soreness? Two successes. You can just barely make up the sounds of conversation. It sounds like it's very hard. You could definitely pick up multiple voices speaking but it's difficult to pick up exactly what's being said. Got multiple people. Hmm. Personally, non-lethal isn't really my specialty. It's not mine either. I don't but know I as though leaving think... a big mess here would I don't know. Uh, let me let me see if I have Oh, we should have had them create a distraction somewhere. You have... you see Vegas kind of pulls out his phone and hides it, just text Tansy and be like, hey, can you create a distraction super quick? <laughs> Make a scene. Hey, hey, Walt. What's that? This is our moment. <laughs> Walt is grinning from ear to ear. <laughs> we need to create a distraction. <laughs> you I'm see thinking... Walt digging his bag. <laughs> what you want to do? Well, I, I thought, you know, Precious ran into the building and, you know, Doing her thing be pretty good, but if you've got something better, I am all ears. We can always be chased by precious. 
because they got to get the door open to get her in there first. And then I have pressure to step in. Okay, and but she the door and she's not able to get in. Oh, oh, I know. Hey, Brucey. <laughs> yes. Can you, like, hold the door while we run in? And make sure that they don't close the door before Precious gets in? He hesitates for a moment. Yes. <laughs> yes, I can. Pinky promise? Absolutely. Don't fuck me here, Bruce. <laughs> Walt I'll is here then in the context. <laughs> it just goes funny. <laughs> I was just waiting for Bruce to be like, I couldn't if I wanted to. And they can do that. <laughs> That's what I'll do as you ask me. Fabulous. Turn to Walt, put a hand on his shoulder. All right. So she she can, you know, spray on command, right? You, you trained her to do that? We've been practicing, you know, she got this. And whilst taking, like, the bow off of Precious and everything, trying to make her look as much of a wild skunk as possible, and then just having that conversation with Precious, like, this is your moment, baby. We've been practicing this. It's just like when we made the present, but bigger. Um, I get out of the car. I, uh, wait for Walt and Precious to join me and start counting, uh, Counting down from three. Yep. Walt is ready. He is ready. <laughs> okay. Three, two, one. Yeah. There's a scout coming after us. He's order pressed to like follow. <laughs> Straight towards the main door of that apartment building. Yep. Okay. We're going in. Okay. There is a moment where the the doorman attempts to stop you, especially you, Tansy. Do you do anything? I keep running. Uh, he. Well, he gets Bruce, in the way. This is your moment, Bruce. Are you saying like the the door guy attempts to physically stop Tansy? Mm -hmm. Like get in front of her. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we gonna we gonna dominate that. Like. <laughs> We're just going to hit him with a cloud memory. Walt's just going to, like, tap him real quick. And we're hoping roll, for, like, that brief reset. Roll resolve and intimidation. And resolve and intimidation gives me to just have a slight lapse. Because I'm going for yes. distraction. <laughs> yes, because you are trying to draw his attention that is now firmly on Tansy to you. Because for Dominate to work, you have to have eye contact. Oh, this is true. This is true. Is it worth it? It's up to you. I'm sorry, Tansy. It's not worth it because Walt would have to prioritize getting Precious in. Yeah. I thought I, <laughs> hey, I have to prioritize getting Precious in. Precious in is more important. No, that's absolutely correct. Um, let me see. So is it more like he's blocking or is it more like he's trying to hit me? He is trying to prevent you from entering the building. Um can I try to Oh don't you I, oh, I know what you played it. <laughs> no, no. Alright, so can I I just want to run straight into him and sort of activate toughness just to make sure that I don't get hurt hitting him. Um, but I just kind of want to plow through him. Roll strength and brawl. Got him. We got to go flying through apartments. Let's see. Mm -hmm. One success, one failure. But the success was a zero. 
you attempt to go straight through, and this man looks to be older, maybe in his early 40s, but as you hit him, it is almost as if you hit solid concrete. As you oh, hit him, no. and it, you fully stop. <laughs> this man rolled three successes. He's very passionate about his job. So and you kind of hit him, and where you expect to go through him, you end up kind of just n almost knocking the air out of your lungs. You kind of hit him and then take a step back. Mm, uh, you aren't allowed to come in here. Were we being chased uh, by a skunk? I, I cannot be sprayed by a skunk. Roll a charisma. Roll a charisma and persuasion roll. And I believe at your humanity, there is a negative two to that. Well, that you, 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 you were my double zero last time. So. Or are you, if, uh, if your humanity, it'll be a one penalty to that, not a two. If you're, if you are humanity five. So here's the thing. I rolled two dice and I only got one success. Um, <laughs> so it is up to you, storyteller, if I should re-roll or if you just decide that success doesn't count. <laughs> Just, wait, what was the total number of dice that you have for this? Two. Oh, well, you always get to roll one dice. So yes, but I mean, if I have like, a but, okay, it was enough. two, and then there was the one dice penalty. So technically, after all of the subtractions, I only have one dice to roll. Yeah, one success wouldn't be enough. Okay. Uh, he just kind of looks at you. Well, I would suggest you get a move on in that direction then. You are not allowed in here. Pressure slipped in, though, all right? I don't say so. Bruce would technically assist, because that was the instruction yeah. given to him. Mark it down. Mark it down the favor. <laughs> you are just the worst and don't care about anybody. And I run off in just down the street away and like huh? far enough away that I can loop back around uh, without him clocking us. Do, do we see the skunk inside? Yes. Yes. Oh, do, would Walt help the skunk get through the second door? So Bruce can only help with one door. Right? Bruce... Bruce was asked to help the skunk through the door, not both <laughs> doors. Bruce. So, it's, it's, it's a genie situation over here. Okay. Which, um, you catch more flies with honey. Bruce, well, been using honey. There is precious. Isn't smart enough. I can have pressure spray the door and then just come back to Walt because it's like I just can't. There's nothing in Walt's arsenal too light. Just be like, let me in, let me in. Especially in his condition, <laughs> he's gonna be the last person they let in. Sure. It is a distraction. No one sure. wants to text. <laughs> they could text, but like you don't have the ability to buzz us in. <laughs> I can you open the second door. Oh, you're outside the second door. I'm I thought you were out in front inside of the Inside the building. So what, you're going to walk back downstairs and oh, let We're the not downstairs. Through? We're on the first floor. So that... Okay. So you haven't even, so you haven't gone up yet. No, you said we're you trying to deal with the hear. security room. So yeah, stage one security room. Walt doesn't have the phone to text. <laughs> As I'm running, I text Tansy, or I'm, I text Vegas. I couldn't get in. Sorry. Running around. Meet it back. Question mark. Precious is at the door. <laughs> you would know that. Uh, Vegas just kind of like sighs and goes... They couldn't get in. <sighs> Sad thing is Walt could do something, but it's too conspicuous. 
Right, homicide it is. <laughs> he just kind of knock yep. on the security door. The door does not open. Hey! Hey, I think I lost my wallet. It takes a moment, but the door does open, kind of pulling inside, and there is a man there who's kind of a bit overweight, uh, kind of tanned skin. Uh, looks to be maybe in his early 40s. How um, big is this security room? Probably big enough to fit two people kind of uncomfortably. Do like it's see definitely... a second person? No, not right now. Once he opens the door, I'm just going to punch him in the face. <laughs> Okay, roll strength and brawl. Even though I have lethal body, I'm not aiming to kill him. I'm aiming to knock him out. <laughs> Before I roll these dice, I'm letting you know in 10. It's going to be a lot easier once I get that right. blood magic up so I can poison people. I mean, it is aggravated damage, but like one hit and they're out. Three successes. Two successes will go to damage. I will say two successes worth of damage is enough to hurt, but they are not unconscious. You, you, you've bloody kind of their nose, oh. but they are still awake. With this my lore sheet, dark. unarmed damage, I get a plus one to my damage modifier. Okay. I I will allow three three points of damage to be enough to to knock him out. You hit him, and you kind of bloody his nose, and then he falls back and he hits his head on the desk behind him. Sorry, man. Mm. Oh, fine. it's okay. He doesn't look fine. like he was having an exciting night anyway. This will be yeah. a great story for be the fine. future. All right. Do you think you can turn this thing off? Hmm, well, let me see. I'm looking around, let's see. Are there any, like, I mean, what does it look like? Is it a big, like, movie-style workstation with a bunch of monitors everywhere? Or is it, There like are a couple of screens showing the various, there are a few screens showing the various camera feeds. Um, none of them seem to have audio, from what you can tell. Um, do you have any dots in technology? That's a good question. Let me double check. Uh, the answer to that would be no. Well, that's what this would you know. You aren't sure okay. how to turn it off. Just looking at it. Are there any? I mean, are there? Okay. Um, let me go look down and uh, and be like. Hmm. <sighs> Is it, do, do, do I see any power cords like sticking into the wall around the outside of it? Pull them out. The power goes out in this room and then in the several lights on the first floor. And you aren't sure of it how, how widespread it is, but you do see as you begin to pull things out, lights begin to go off. And then oh, the, the screens go off as well. Well, this is interesting cause and effect, isn't it? Mm -hmm. Just keep pulling stuff. <laughs> I'm just well, going to take... see it's suddenly dark, right? Is there, did, did, does the guy working here, does he have any like food or drinks nearby that maybe he has just hanging out with him because uh, he's here all night? No, he does. You can tell that he was watching something because he does have a phone that is playing something on the screen. You're not sure what it is. Is it like, is the screen locked? Um, yes, the screen has gone dark. Just playing. The, if you if you lock your phone while listening to something before, it's still playing the audio, but the actual Fair. screen isn't showing anything. Oh well, that's unfortunate. I'm just drop gonna... the phone on the ground and break it. All right, let's okay. get out of here. I'm gonna text Tansy and be like, "Meet at side door." Okay, cuz got it. Um, yeah, I'm going to continue my run around and get to the side door as fast as I can. Wouldn't want him dialing for help. Are you all allowing, are you all letting Walt into the building as well? Yeah. Actually, too. Leave real, him outside. He, real, he real, is real, while, while Vegas is leaving, uh, 
are any of the cables in there loose enough, I figure I might um, tie them up a little bit just to delay oh. his response. To do that, you'd have to rip the cables out of the wall. I mean, these look like mm, more professional. These aren't like stinking cords. These are like cables that are routed through the wall. Yeah, so, probably not flexible enough for that anyway. I mean, you can welcome to try it if you like. But it, it will be a difficult attempt to, to remove them. I think, you know what? I think I'll just do something else. I'll uh, tie his shoelaces together. You got that pot of acid if you want. Well, that's not going to do anything to the shoelaces. You could do something to the wires. I mean, I could, but they're already all pulled out. Mm hmm. Well, you got something to melt a lot, too, as well. This stuff's potent. <laughs> that's fair. Um, I figured I would save the, the acid, though, in case, you know, we needed to get in somewhere else. Joke off. Since I wasn't expecting you guys to be coming in here with us. Nope. <laughs> so Anush is just operating, expecting it's just going to be him in Vegas. All right. If you all, whoever you all will let into the building would be able to enter. Uh, and then you all are able to make, make your way up. On the way up, I'm going to uh, rouse for prowess. Oh, okay. thank gosh, any other preparations any you wish to take? Yeah, I never rolled for toughness that I was activating earlier. So I'm going to roll for it now. Oh, thank God, that's a nine. Um, Is there a range on the mental link? I got to see that. Also, Bruce is next to me, right? <laughs> Bruce is here. I mean, I only have one more favor, but, okay. you know, it's going to be a big one. Just want to make sure he's here for the event. Oh, you're going to have him kill her? Oh, boy. Well, I don't know that, but I do know that if I only have one more wish for now, I'm going to make it good. The sad thing is we probably could have just done that in the first place. <laughs> we could have just sent Bruce to kill her outright. That would have been a lot of persuasion. <laughs> <laughs> also far too up. simple far too simple uh, okay yeah Walt can't really do nothing he can heighten his hearing <laughs> in the darkness it ain't like he's got night vision so dun, dun. All right, you all take your preparations and make your way up the stairs and I think that is where we are going to take a break for the evening. So we will return in about 15 minutes uh, to see where this story goes and see how, see what trouble they get themselves into. Uh, so please uh, take an opportunity, take a break, get, take care of all you got to do, and then uh, join us back here to continue this adventure. All right. And as we return to our Vampire the Masquerade Chronicle, our coterie is making their way up the apartment building in search of a former ghoul that has been causing them quite a bit of problem, quite a bit of trouble. Is there anything you all wish to do before you arrive at this apartment building? This wall don't have much of nothing. I think we've already done it. Yeah. Yeah. I guess he has a knife just in case to protect himself. Pulls out one of the kitchen knives. There's no kitchen. Well, you knew. You, yes, okay. there are kitchen. Don't you? And they're back. And you do. You brought it back. That's fine. Yes. <laughs> Anything else? That's all he's got, really. <laughs> he's okay. not made for this. You arrive outside apartment 435. You can tell that the rooms on this floor also have don't have lights on just from kind of the, the lack of light underneath the door. So it's the, it's, the door is locked, so does anybody want to pick it? Do we want to just acid through it? I guess it doesn't matter. 
lights are off, security should be down, we can do what we want. But how much evidence do we want to leave behind is the question. I mean, if I burn it, that's evidence too. Does it look like a particularly strong door? It looks like a normal door. So it's just a normal like apartment. Kind of Does it look like it's metal? Wood? I think it probably would be a metal door from what you think. Walt would do it, but he's I, I can't risk it with my dots of hunger. I can't. <laughs> Well, Ve- Vegas, you're the one that um, you know, talk to him on the on the on the intercom. Maybe we maybe we can get him to just let us in. Wait, are we at the apartment door? We're at the apartment door. Yeah. <sighs> He's gonna knock on the door. No answer. Oh, she must know what's going down. <laughs> Okay, well... I'll knock harder. (laughs) No answer. I'm gonna pour some acid on the little doorknob thingy. That's what it's there for. Roll, just roll me an intelligence craft roll to see how well the acid works. Are you a joke breed? This is the same acid that Walt has used to melt the door to the pet store. It's the same stuff. Just this is not data. the pet it's store. That str- it's that strong. This is not the pet store. You just said it's a normal door, dog. I can't with you. <laughs> it just, just makes a roll. It's a different door than a pet store. I am rolling it or he's rolling it's it? It's a more secure Walt. door. <laughs> oh, okay. It is a bit say, I hope it's Walt because I'm not going to. That rolls be bad for no. me. Okay, that's a Walt roll. Okay. Yeah. Intelligence craft. Mm-hmm. All right. Uh, yeah. This this can I add my farm student to this because this is chemistry. Sure. All right. Yay. Two successes. So with two oh, successes, seven, the the acid begins to dissolve the door, but you are more dissolving like the handle than actually opening the door. And you do hear that kind of burning, melting sound. It'll take a while before it destroys the actual handle, though. Maybe that new container don't work too well. Maybe I need to do a little something different next time. You got some more? Well, I mean, and Walt points at his arm. <laughs> That's all I got for now. Unless you know. Do you, you, want, do you, want, to. Do you want me to old school this? Well, it's been prepped. Might as well speed things up. I'm going to Kick the door down. Yay. Grant those yeah, like, I can't kick the and door And can down. I add my potent dice? You can. Excellent. If these exactly dice hate terrible. me, I am going to fight them with every being. Yo, if we get stopped by a door tonight. <clears throat> I don't have knock, I'm sorry. <laughs> Even no. better. Seven with a crit. Yay. I'm not spilling any more willpower. Kick the door and you can... The first kick, you can hear the hinges of the door beginning to snap. And then after the second one, the door crashes inward with a visible dent in it before falling back. And you can see the apartment itself is completely dark. Like supernaturally dark? Or... No, it is okay. it's naturally dark, just dark. Okay. Got no lights. Oh, I got his aspects on our side still. So turns to look at Tansy. Yeah, heightened senses. 
the, the, the eye vision. Can you see that? No. <laughs> 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 well, guard the door. Precious yeah. sprays anybody that tries to escape. Walt does not. I can't see anything. I don't have any seen other things other than the shroud. I'm just gonna leave my aspects up, and we're walking. That's all we and got. We're walking. Is our and we're walking. Walt's at the I... door. I have one hand on uh, one of Vegas's shoulders. <laughs> Is there like the blonde boys of Alabama? I hate it. Hello, one eight hundred flowers. Oh. What is the order in which you all are entering the apartment? Uh, well, I, I I figured Vegas sounded like they were just kind of walking straight in. Yeah, so he's just walking in. walking in. And, yeah, and I've uh, got and as I as I step through the door, I'm gonna rouse for toughness. <laughs> Yeah, I'm I'm drawing my sword because back we're not, to hunger three. Not here to play games. And I have everyone make me a wits and awareness roll. Actually, just do a dexterity and athletics roll. Everyone that walked in. Yeah, all of you. Well, Walt's at the door. Like one six. I knew she told Walt to keep watch. That's what Walt was doing. He didn't step into the apartment. Yeah, four okay. successes. Oh my gosh, uh, one success. Only, why, why is it? Oh, seven, eight. There should have been. Oh, yeah, never mind. That's Walt still like, has to roll. You are such a hater, dog. The, the, the no, cousins are twinning. Fine. Okay, I was about to say. I could only well, roll one question. die, and they got a double oh, zero. Those of you who are entering the room, except for Tansy, can either attempt to move into the apartment to avoid getting hit, in which the roll is more difficult, or move out into the hallway where the roll will be easier. But you will be out in the hallway. Is the door off the hinges? Yeah. Yes. Can I just pick the door up and use it as a shield? Yeah. No. Hater. <laughs> Maybe not in one fluid motion. <laughs> Even with my prowess? And potence. Yeah. Potence, Strong prowess, like... toughness. Come on, Ree. Vegas is strong like wood. It's just not an option. <laughs> Y'all see what we go through. We're probably past the door we anyway. We yeah, we're, we're probably already inside the door. You could dive into the room to avoid getting hit or back into the hallway. It's up to you. Fine, going into the hallway. Or going into the apartment. Alright, difficulty uh, three. So if you need at least three successes to avoid getting hit. Of uh, what? Dexterity. Yeah. The, the dexterity. The dexterity. Now the the one you just rolled. So you okay. Question. Use. I had roused dexterity when I was downstairs scoping the place. Is that still active? Sure. Cool. All right. So what did you all roll on the the previous roll? You made one. Are we re-rolling it? No. 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 Okay, then can I add my extra dice then? Because <laughs> I didn't use those. Sure, you can do that. Yeah, I, I added I, another success. I rolled four, and if uh, Vegas wasn't retreating, then Anush wasn't retreating. Also as you all... I'm behind Vegas. <laughs> as you all enter, the broken up door suddenly launches up off of the ground and smashes into Tansy's back. How many did you roll on the dexterity athletics roll? One. Cool. So this person rolled four. So that's going to be three. An excess of three. Let me see if there's any if they have anything. Was else. there like a noise, like an explosion or something? Or... I, I do have huh? toughness though. So hopefully okay. So you will I'll take a, I'm gonna say a door oh, oh no. No, no. Let me see. Door on Tansy hate crime. Doors, I don't door. think they do any extra, any special damage. Yeah, they don't do special damage. So um, it'll be a grand total of three points of damage, and then you can subtract toughness from that. 
So one and a half. Is that what you're saying? Subtract toughness from. So they will go down to one. Mm -hmm. They will go down to one. Perfect. And as this door hits you, now I can have everyone make me a wits awareness roll. Allegedly. And minus two dice because it's dark. Of that's course. the, that's the penalty that. for not having dark vision. We all need to have dark vision. I'm sorry. Who successes? Maybe use a picture because protein. Three successes. Minus the two. That's one success. I'm 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 sad. Oh no! And the oh wait, we had a minus two. So yeah, only one success. That's Three probably my successes. best, one of my best rolls all night. We put minus one because of the aspects that so doesn't, uh, the heightened senses. Oh, she's going to roll. Yeah, we have aspects. Does that help at all? Depends on what you're using it for. I mean, we well, already had it up on eyesight. Nope. Lots of vitamin C. <sighs> You know, if you have all specs on for your eyesight, I would say you can, it'll reduce the like, the penalty to just one dice then. All right, yeah. and that's two it's not It's not a supernatural then. darkness. It's not a supernatural darkness. I was just, because so, all specs normally, like, or heightened senses just adds your all specs right into your perception roll. So I only have one yeah. all specs, so I was just like, all right, reduced it by one. Generally, you need oblivion sight or eyes of the beast to be able to see in the dark. But I'll allow all specs to help a little bit. I could have taken that. <laughs> So, who entered the room first? Uh, well, Vegas kicked the door down and was first. Vegas would have entered uh, it right first. He's got no Vegas, fear. Yeah. And no fear. Vegas many, is here. Uh, all right. So, with your successes, you do you unfortunately do not see this, but you all hear the sounds of a gunshot explode, breaking the silence. And Vegas, you feel pain from the center of your chest as well I'll let you try to avoid it. Roll me dexterity and athletics with a negative two penalty. I have toughness so I don't toughness does help. I have two. Cool so we'll take two successes away. Still three successes to hit. So that's going to be a total of seven superficial damage as Minus. you feel a whole just get smashed into your chest. Minus my toughness? Yes, yeah, so you would seven superficial, then toughness and being undead. Okay, so that's how much would that be then? How much toughness do you have? So it'd be a grand total of two points of damage. Oh, come on, you bitch. This is my favorite shirt. And did I so, see where the gunshot came from? Were you, would you have would Vegas have been trying more to avoid being hit or to see who was hitting him? More seeing who's hitting him. He's he's not that bothered by getting shot with right. toughness up. You know that it generally came from in front of you. If you want more details, you'd have to make a wits awareness roll. Mm. With the darkness penalty still. That's just one success. Uh you know. It's coming from the opposite side of the room, and you can tell, I will give you this, you can tell that the person is moving after the shot, because you can kind of see just for a moment, like, the light kind of trails a bit, but that's about it. Is there a couch or any furniture nearby? There is a countertop that is kind of facing the where you're coming in, you're seeing the back of it. Mm -hmm. But other than that, you'd have to move in to see what else is in yeah. the room. But you can see there's kind I'd, of like a, a counter top in. in front of you. All I'm right. looking the, for anything of, I could You chuck. feel something. It looks like furniture, but you can't obviously you can't see in the dark, but it feels like, you know, maybe a couch or chair or something. If it feels like a chair, I'm just gonna throw it at in the direction. Um, okay, dexterity and athletics with the negative two penalty, I think. Dexterity to throw something? That's the roll. Throwing. Well, roll. I'm using strength I will check to it. heft something. I will something. check it. I will check the rule. You know, sure, you can roll it with strength. Sure. <laughs> now, look. And uh, athletics? Look. All I'm telling you is the, the book says throwing stuff is dexterity and athletics. If you don't like it, 
Cole, Cole White Wolf. I don't know what to say. Well, um, well see, there sure, isn't the actually an anyway. asterisk on there because it is limited to pick upable. Because when I wielded a claymore one time, I had to use strength. I don't know, you put sense. Okay, if you guys, you guys don't like it, you can. But you can just roll strength. You can roll strength in athletics instead. Two successes. Mm -hmm. I'm still gonna spend a point of willpower. You hear as you launch this, and it does look like one of those cubic chairs. And as you launch it in, you hear it smash into the wall, but you aren't sure if you hit anything. Am I near a wall? You think so? You've, you've, so when you entered, there was a wall to your right, but as you went for the chair, you moved away from it. So you know kind of where the wall is, but you're not next to it. Kind of step back a bit to reach for, look for a light switch. Okay. I want to say that is going to be your turn. Uh, Walt, Tansy, Anusha, what would you all like to do? Well, I'll still keep in watch. Well, since I'm inside, um, am I like, kind of in the entryway hallway. I know I, I tried to move inward to avoid the thing. So you're, you would be in the entryway. There isn't a hallway inside of an, in this kind of an apartment, but there's just, you're just, okay. you're in front of the door now. Okay. Am I in like, I know it's dark, but I am like plain view of, I guess, everything else in the room or you think so. It's hard for you to see where everything is. You can see kind of like Vegas's outline in the darkness, but you can't see the person that's attacking you at the moment, and you can't see like furniture and things further away from the door. Okay. Uh, well, uh, I'm going to go ahead and then I'm going to go ahead and like just kneel down and uh, rouse the blood to activate Unseen Passage. Okay. And then I don't know Assuming if I have none of your people to... are looking at you, you could do it. I, I don't know if I have time to activate um, Silence of Death as well. I know that one's more of kind of like a reactive one. I believe you can only do one power per turn. Yeah. That one's weird because it doesn't actually require anything. It's just like you turn on the light switch, but uh, I wanted to uh, do that and then like kind of quietly, move, quietly as possible move uh, in the direction uh, that I kind of, I'm assuming, did I get a glance at the gunshot and the movement or at all, or? Um, brother, what's awareness from? With the night, with the darkness, Ben, Uh, okay. Do, 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 if I can find so I will say, you know that it is, it is coming from in front of you somewhere. You do know that much. Yeah. To see if you know exactly where, you know what's wrong. I got one success. No, you just know it's coming from in front of you. That's fine. I'll move uh, in that direction then as best as I can try to make it out while uh, trying to now that I'm no longer now I'm even less visible. All right. It's Hansi, what are you doing? I... I think I'm just going to... Tansy pulls out her cell phone and turns on the flashlight and says, Hey, where are you? And I look to see, get a layout of the room and see the space and see if I can see Angela or whoever is attacking us. So as you turn on your flashlight with the, the light, you can see the general layout of the room. It's a kind of a single, it's a studio type apartment. There is a wall on the opposite side, which you guess probably it's like a, a, a bedroom or something like that. There is a couch, kind of a mid table. And then next to where Vegas is standing, you guess there used to be a chair because you're know, on the opposite side of the room. You can see there is a broken chair that has left a sizable hole in the wall. Uh, you aren't seeing any people moving about now, but you do have sight of the room, and now all of you can see the room as well. 
so you do not have the light penalties. Um, however, I need for you uh, to make me a dexterity and athletics roll, Tansy. You're back two seconds. The, the best possible scenario is one success. Hey, which it is. <laughs> you attempt to move out of the way as a, uh, a piece of wood kind of launches itself at you. Uh, they rolled five successes on this, so it's going to be four. Uh, plus two, so you're going to take a total of six points of damage. Then it will be subtracted from your toughness. So, how much toughness do you have? Uh, I have... I don't know. I, I, I mean, I have two dots in fortitude. Yeah, it will be two. Okay. Yes. So then it'll go six down to four, then it'll get halved again, so it's two points of damage. Okay. And this person can then make a second attack. So they're going to. Wait, what? What? This person is very determined to hurt you, Tansy. Uh, so it's going to roll the five successes again on the second one. <laughs> so. Do I get to roll anything in defense of this? I will let you try dodge again with the dexterity and athletics roll. There's right. no penalties just because you only have one, one dodge here. No, that's here. a failure. That's a failure. So, it will, five, so it'll be five, just blanket five, plus two, seven, two minus two from toughness, so it'll go down to five, and then half again, so another two points of damage as another piece of wood comes flying. This one aimed, you can clearly see from both attacks that they're trying to aim for where your heart would be, but they aren't quite accurate, so that does not stop the pain. Mm -mm. No, it does not. What? what? What would you like to do? Can he make that out from the vantage point that he's at? Um, I would say you don't realize they're trying to hit Tansy in the heart because you're not experiencing it. But Tansy, what Tansy, what you're feeling is that there's a person and the first one kind of hits you center and the second kind of goes off too far. It's like the right. And you realize that they're trying for the heart area, but they're just missing. Well, you just see Tansy getting hit in the chest in general. <sighs> it's got to be Tansy, dog. Now Walt has to get involved. Can, okay, with this, can Walt have seen where the stakes came from? You can tell they're coming from the chair that Vegas threw. How far away is that vantage point from Walt if he were to stand next to Tansy? Less than 10 feet. Perfect. He is going to go there, go next to Tansy and order Precious to spray in that direction. Mm -hmm. Skunk spray is like over 20 feet, dog. <laughs> sure. Sure. The room is very stinky. Did we make contact with anyone or anything? You don't know. Nothing happened. What you mean nothing happened, dog? If someone got sprayed by a skunk. <laughs> Be correct. Well, that's all Walt can do as far as getting that because I'm assuming ordering his family is, is use of a power. <laughs> I would say yes, that would that would be your action. Yep. So now Walt has entered the fray like the idiot. <laughs> okay. Now we're back to the top and our lovely guns person is going to try and shoot Vegas again. Okay. So dexterity and athletics minus two to dodge, I guess. Why minus two? I thought we had light. Because dodging gunshots has a penalty if you don't have celerity. Rude. Them's the rules. I'm sorry. Three successes. I don't like you. <laughs> so they rolled six successes to shoot you, and they are using a very powerful gun for this, so you're going to take seven points of damage. 
minus my toughness? Yes, seven before and toughness the and halving from being undead. So two. It's superficial damage. Two points. Do I see where the gunshot's coming from? Yes, now you can see that they are clearly behind that wall on the opposite side of the room. You know what? I'm going right for them. I don't care. <laughs> you shouldn't at this point. <laughs> Go for it. Try to deliver some flowers, and then you start shooting at us. <laughs> what, what am I rolling? What are you trying Freaking to do? Rude. I'm trying to get my hands on them. So you wish to run over. I would say you can try just the strength and brawl check if you're just trying to to hit them. If, if Are you trying to hit them or grapple them? Those are different. It's things. both the same role. Oh, yeah, yeah, it is strength and brawl. Mm -hmm. Yeah. But you have to determine if you're trying to do damage or restrain them. Because you don't get damage. I'm you... told to take about. I'm trying to kill them, so I am going to be using lethal dam lethal body. They are going to try and move out of the way. Oh my goodness. They're gonna have to spend one of those. You know what? I'm gonna spend my last willpower. Four successes. Alright. That is a surplus of two successes uh, for you. So that'll be two points of aggravated damage as you make your way over. And you can see her, and just looking at her, she's clearly wearing some sort of mask over her face. And she has what looks to be like a very large revolver type style gun in one hand. And she does not seem surprised to hit you, to see you. And as she goes to move out of the way, you manage to kind of clip the, her left arm and you can feel several bones break immediately. But she does not seem to be out of it. Oh, don't tell me it's the same mask for season one. <laughs> oh, okay. I think that would be my turn, right? And you can say something. Other than that, no. What do you to say? That's that's all I'm going to do. I, I'm right, assuming I was able to clearly see Vegas uh, at that point and where they went. Um, you were? Okay. Uh, well, I, I guess I will uh, follow suit into the room. Am I able to get uh, into a position where I can attack this other person? Or uh, are, are they all... Mm -hmm. I'm, it's a room, right? So I'm assuming there's space to, like, Unless it's a closet or something, and only two people can fit in there. The spot she's th that they are currently fighting in is a bit close together, but you can try. Well, I don't it, need I to like say if you if you do horribly on the roll, you might hit wrestling? Vegas. Yeah, I guess if I botch, no, I just, might. Don't that close. Yeah, if you if you botch, you'd hit. If you best you beast your fail or something like that, you might hit it. I hit Vegas. But other than that, you could you can do it. Well, let's see what Roll20 has in store for us, shall we? <laughs> <laughs> sometimes, sometimes Roll20 is feeling frisky. Um, so, yeah. So, I would say, let me see something here. Um, mm -mm -mm -mm. Oh, yeah. let, me, let me print the details of this real quick. Uh, da, 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 da. Okay. Um, well, I uh, would. I would like to use uh, hidden blade against the target. Um, so I guess that's rouse check. I, I believe doesn't actually mm -hmm. say it on the thing. I'm assuming it's a rouse check. Pretty much everything's a rouse check. Mm -hmm. Uh, yeah, it should be. Yeah, I don't have that part of it. I need to. Uh, so let's see if I get hungrier. Uh, one success, so I am not hungrier. All right. And I guess what's possible? No, what's possible? Obfuscate. Okay. Mm -hmm. right. Is that this dice? Nope, that's not that dice. That's the wrong one. That is a rouse check, my friend. Yeah. Oh, I didn't know the rouse check was right next to each of the powers. That's cool. And they were actually rolled from there before. All right. Oh, wait, I actually have it on the thing. I already done it. Explicit. Okay.
<laughs> but, okay. Uh, yeah. So I guess a messy crit. With a five. That is a messy crit. So you definitely get the benefit of of the thing. Uh, I don't know how to do a messy crit, but messy crit to do for this. I was going to say, you're going to run over and you're going to kind of shoulder check Vegas out of the way so you can do your your attack. I was going to have it. You'll just hear a as a as a well there's no light in the room so you don't see you're not going to see a glint as the as yeah. as the sword comes out I mean to, the flashlight's on oh, there's a flashlight on so it's going to be like a sock laser light show it's like <laughs> there is a single flashlight possessed by Tainzy who is struggling at the moment Tan- but Tansy's um, not in here though mm-hmm. so uh but yeah so you can roll so roll your make your melee attack yeah, so do, 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 do. okay. All right, so yeah, so boop, boop, plus two. As it takes ten minutes to generate the Jesus fucking Christ. <laughs> three That's with fine. a three with a crit, for fuck's sake, on ten dice. Mm-hmm. Roll 20 going through it right now. As you go, you bring your blade out to Slash, but you can see she takes a step back into the other room and manages to pull herself around the corner just as your blade would have hit her. Because she rolled five successes to avoid getting hit. I thought we were both in the same room. Is she stepping out into the other room with Tansy? No, she's stepping into... You guys are in the... You're basically in the doorway of the bedroom. She is stepping into the bedroom properly. Vegas gotcha. caught her behind a wall in front of her bedroom, and she's now going into it. I guess she just wants to go to sleep. <laughs> Put her to sleep! Speaking of which... Oh, boy. Up to that. Master tansy, goddamn tansy, 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 tansy. Fighting Bruce Lee here. Do you like to make a dexterity and athletics roll? Well, it's failure. All right, failure. I will. I will offer a deal to you, Tansy, to avoid getting hit again. You can attempt to hide behind something, but you will take no heed of anything else that may or may not happen afterwards. You will throw yourself fully into protecting yourself, or you can take the attack. It's up to you. Tansy's a bitch, but she's not a coward. Um, so, no, I'm going to take the attack. Oh, wow, I'm surprised. Right. <laughs> so how many successes did you roll? Oh, uh, zero. Zero. Zero successes. The, they rolled six successes. Oh, As sure another did. piece of wood it comes flying at you. Uh, you know, just because I, I am kind in some ways... Walt, I will give you a similar opportunity. You can attempt to protect Tansy, but you will you will be able to kind of knock Tansy to the ground. But there will be a consequence to this action. Dude's blood bonded. He's gonna stink and do it. You know he's gonna do it. I hate you. <laughs> it's not even really a choice. <laughs> It's up to you. He's gonna do it. <laughs> He's gonna try to protect Tansy. Right. Walt is going to throw himself into Tansy, knocking her to the ground. Tansy, you feel a just for a moment. There is a force that attempts to pull you away, but it is countered by Walt. You feel something ripping, and then you and Walt slam into the ground. You don't take any damage. Yep. There goes Bruce. Right between Walt and Tansy, who would like to act? You can have it. Walt has nothing for this situation. He yeah. Just um, there are two things I want to do. Uh, one is look at Bruce and say, I want that bitch down. 
Bruce isn't there. And the second thing is try to. You have not seen Bruce since the battle has started, actually. Oh. Oh, that jerk. He lied to you. He did. I hate him so much. All them times you said I'd die for me, you lied to me. All right, so are, are Walt and I, like, literally staked together? No, you managed to avoid any attack, but you're kind of smashed into the ground on top of each other. Okay. Um... All right, there's no Bruce, but the... we were supposed to be subtle, weren't we? All right. Um... All right, I'm, I'm going to get up and I'm going to once again scratch my nails across the uh, photo of Bruce. As you go for the photo, you find it's not there. Re hates us. Re really hates us. Tansy's gonna curse under her breath and then Yeah. I think I'm just gonna shout at her and say If you stop this, I can make your life much, much easier. Oh. Are you trying to be scary with it or persuasive? Um, I think I'm trying to be persuasive. Roll charisma and persuasion. Mm. It's only one success. The dice. <laughs> Call off these other two. Wait, did you say call them off? Yes. I don't know why I should do that, though. Like, that just seems really unfair, and, like, it's just going to make it easier for you to kill me. And, honestly, I'm not really feeling my best. Well, she's going to say. <sighs> Does this seem to say, like, I believe I can fly, and then somebody's going to go flying out a window? I mean, that would be pretty dope. Yeah. <laughs> Walt, it's your turn. Fly right off oh, the building. Your turn. <sighs> he really isn't built for this. This is the saddest thing ever. <laughs> Walt's going to flex on him. Mm. Is there some way... <sighs> Like, honestly, like, the best he could do is some very niche blood sorcery. <laughs> That's probably the best he can do right now. <laughs> what would you like to do? Okay. All right. What all right, I'm reading the description of Extinguish Viate. But I don't know if it's just like, hey, I'm gonna make the person if they're kindred hungrier, or like I'm straight up taking potency away from them or something. You just make a vampire hungry. That's not helpful. <laughs> nope. It is not. Uh... It is not helpful. How far away is the assailant? Who's the you don't know. The woman face? is... You haven't seen another person. Come on, bro. <laughs> okay. 
Walt does have a flashlight in his backpack. It was one of the things he got from Walmart. So I guess he's going to reach in his backpack and pull out a flashlight, turn it on, so he can see. I have his own empty, flashlight. You are in an empty, mostly destroyed room? That's all he's got. <laughs> like for real, that's all he's got. He can't, he can't heal Tansy. He doesn't have, like, any salubri specialties. None of that, like, <laughs> he don't have a gun he can't shoot he doesn't have anybody to aim at with a knife he's got nothing I don't know if you can see in the dark which is a he problem cannot. all right so this is what happens Vegas and Anush, as you two attempt to enter the bedroom after her, you see her shoulder check the kind of large glass window. And just as the glass begins to shatter and she begins to fall out, you hear her cry out, catch me. And then she's gone. She just falls through the glass. Well, I have Sensi Unseen active. Is anybody obfuscated? No. I need to check something really quickly. Roll. Okay, no, just, I'll just make it a roll. I will make it a roll. Goddamn Zemisi. Goddamn Tremere. Five, four. He has nothing. Roll me gives your <laughs> resolve and awareness. Actually, before she falls out the window, like when she's heading out the glass, can I throw something after her? You can try. I'm going to break off a leg of the table and chuck it at her. Roll. I'll let you strength again. I'll be Thank kind. Yeah. What am I rolling? Strength and... Athletics. She's going to use her last point of willpower for this. What? That's on four. Five, and there's one on the floor that I don't see. Oh, well, I have another one up here. Five. As you throw, you see her begin to fall out the window, and your your the piece of wood, the wooden plank you throw at her, goes straight through her shoulder, and you hear her scream in pain before she disappears from sight. I do have lethal body da added. Did you add it, it already? In, it's it's a uh, passive. Oh, but it was in the damage that you gave me already. Yes, uh, yes, because he was aiming to kill. Okay, then you see her disappear from sight. She tanky. <laughs> God damn it! <sighs> Still got that flashlight. Where's my phone? <laughs> Pull out the phone to charge the flashlight. Room's empty. That's gonna call some attention. We need to get out of here. Could search the place really fast for any I don't know. Anything that looks important. <sighs> I feel like, like you're better at that than I am. Can't see anything right now. It's so dark in here. I'll Looking hold around. The you find there are a few, there is a safe with a cut of another box of ammunition inside of it. Um, you can see that there may have been other things in here at one point, because there's kind of that dust spots in there. But you, other than that, you don't see anything important. There's personal effects, pictures, books, things like that, but nothing significant. No, like computers lying around or anything like that. No, if we find the apartment is surprisingly empty for someone, if for one where a person would have been living in it.
Um, do I have to like pull any chunks of wood out of myself? Like, is that a thing I have to do? Several pieces of wood. You are skewered. Uh. Walt's <laughs> helping with that. He's gonna try with his baby string. It's very uncomfortable. As Walt's doing that, uh, as I look around the room, is there anything that strikes as particularly like occulty or anything like that? Or is it very yeah. much like, just bare? It looks Not bare right. outside of the you know broken pieces of wood everywhere. It looks it almost looks like it's just a new apartment. Once Walt's done pulling the wood out, he's he's flipping his hoodie up. <laughs> I think I think we've been had. I think this mission was bullshit. Don't you think we should get out of here? Yeah, we should really go. Yeah. Maybe yeah. I caught her on the last roll and it hopefully took her out. All right. They beelining. Well, Walt's definitely beelining to the car. Mm. Same. Fucking ninja splinter shooting. <laughs> out through the side door. <laughs> yeah. All right. You all manage to get back to your car. You begin to hear the sounds of police sirens in the distance. Walt would have handed the make... keys back to Vegas, of course. Uh, you all are able to make a clean getaway. That was so tragic. There are any conversations you all wish to have? So did you get her? Well, a table leg something. at her, we'll see. Yeah. So you didn't cut her head off and shut her on fire? No, and we really should have, but it's like she was like I don't know. She was just there. Way harder than it should have been. Especially for someone whose master supposedly died 10 years ago. Oh, feeling that's a little bunk. Smells like a bunch of bullshit to me. Smells like tower nonsense. All right. Well, we need some answers because that... was a little annoying. That was, like, super annoying. I did not enjoy any of that. Especially the especially the security room. It's the first time I've ever pulled cables out of the wall in a security room and it killed the power to the whole building. I think they would have buried those underground. Can Walt make, like, an intelligence check to see if that is possible based on Anusha's description. Sure. Sure, your intelligence. I mean, do I get to add a skill? Uh, you could do academics, I suppose. Or technology. What about craft? Because he's got household repair mm. as one of his uh, specialties. I don't think that applies. Yeah, yes, it does. To the layout of an apartment building. Yes, it does, because he's a squatter. <laughs> he's had to figure out how to get stuff working when he squats. That's why I sure. took it. <laughs> sure. <laughs> All right. Intelligence craft plus one. Yay. Yay. Three successes <laughs> on seven die. Yo, roll 20 is hating. You don't think so? Um, you don't think it would it would make sense for it to take up power for the entire building? Maybe like that floor could be a problem. Maybe some things could be a problem, but you don't think it would be the entire building. That seems weird. Yeah, based on what I know about hot wiring them fuse boxes, like that shouldn't have happened. I could ask someone, but I already bothered him the other night, and I don't know if don't know if he wants visitors. Well, does he have friends? You really want to go see Grandpa? I did say this was a test. Perhaps this is all set up to go this way from the beginning. Why does she give us a test and expect us to fail? Somebody's toying with us. Why would she do that? Like, she's our keeper. Like, if we mess up, that looks bad for her. Not mm. necessarily. 
I mean, confused. <laughs> honestly, this does sound an awful lot like Grandpa, if you have to be honest. No, he wouldn't do anything like that. Are you sure? Tansy, whose person did you eat? Who were they attached to? They were attached to the... They were attached to the keeper, right? It was the keeper. Wanna bet she's just trying to kill you. Or, you know, maybe it's one of those things like where if you pass enough tests and you're good enough. I mean, because, come on, isn't that... That's kind of the deal, right? You pass enough tests and you're good enough. That That's never worked like that. No, it's always worked like that. <laughs> well, you and I must be operating in different circles for that. But isn't that how the family works, Vegas? For some people. I don't know. The... T -t -t Tansy, how long have you been a kindred? Well, like 20-ish. Ish. You remember the family reunion was where we first met? Yeah. It was not a good day. That was the first time I'd seen any of the family since 1988. If I take you to see him, you all have to be on your best behavior. Can he help get us out of this mess? Maybe he can get us some answers. I hate bothering him. I will be on my very best behavior. You other two? In the car? Road trip. Are you going to be on your best behavior? Yeah, I ain't saying nothing. That's the best you're going to get out of all. <sighs> Where would great-grandpa Giovanni be hiding out? You know, he, he has a place where he go, where he allows people to meet with him. A kind of an older estate, closer to the suburban areas. Uh, you know that it is generally frowned upon to visit without a prearranged appointment. But you I'm know a, how to get there. I'm a, I'm a text him and be like, I know it's last minute. Is there any chance we could have a meeting? Might be trouble. You receive a response, a short one. What does it say? A short one. The response okay. is a short one. Oh, okay. <sighs> right. Going on a little bit of a trip. That's where we're going to head. Okay. The trip takes about 30 minutes before you end up kind of outside of the city limits. You end up going down a winding path, going deeper into the forest until you come across a large wrought iron gate. And you can see there are two men in dark black suits, each one with a handgun on their hip, standing guard. They gesture for you to them? stop. Not specifically, but you recognize them as being in the employ of your grandfather, but they seem to be one of the many guards that are just kept around. Gonna stop, be polite. One of them comes to the door. They check, looking at each of you, before giving you a nod. They don't say anything. And then the gate opens. May you're allowed to continue. Knuckle driving. Just knuckle driving. You have been here before, so you know where to go. 
and you leave your car, you see that there are only two other vehicles here today. One of which you recognize is the limo preferred by your grandfather. Another is a smaller black, uh, looks to be a sedan that you haven't seen before. That's you leave your car. You make your way up to the gate, to the, the front door proper. It is, you can see it is a, it is a nice house, but not overly so. It's just enough that it looks like it belongs without being overtly expensive. And the door is open for you as you approach and a butler, kind of a darker skinned man in the kind of classical suits with tails opens and guides you all inside. Do you all do anything or say anything? So you're being taken forward. You did, you did you all give Walt the okay to accompany you? Mm -hmm. Mm hmm All right, just keep in mind, Walt still smells like sewer. <laughs> Mixed with cologne. But he's keeping his mouth shut. Hmm. This is a beautiful estate. You see his eyes are going everywhere, though. He's taking it all in. <laughs> Same, and I'm especially looking for any... Anything that could be seen as um coming from the Dunsterns or related to or anything like that looking around you don't see anything that seems like it's from the Dunsterns. um you do know that the Dunsterns are heavily associated with money so you aren't sure how much of the things here comes from a uh, connection to the banks or not but it does look pretty wealthy but in a muted sense it's something that it is clear that the person who owns these items is wealthy and they do not see a need to share, to show it off. Uh, but you all are led into a, uh, a main meeting area where you will find in looks to be an older man, maybe in his fifties, kind of wearing a very nice black pinstripe suit. You could see that his eyes look almost sallow as if there's there's nothing behind them. A feeling that you get when, to a much lesser degree, when you look at Tansy. And sitting beside him is a woman you all have met before. Jacqueline Denava. And they seem to be waiting for you all to appear. Oh, boy. Good evening, Vegas. Tansy. It was it is interesting you decide to bring two others with you? You know, they've been helping us out. They're, yeah, they're good. They're good. They're not good, but, you know, they're, they're involved in it, so they might as well be here. And what is it exactly that you all need? I guess I need a debt cleared with the Camarilla. What debt with the Camarilla? I don't. What specifically really isn't that important, actually? You know what? Coming here was a bad idea. I regret everything. We should leave. More just some information. Um, we were tasked with taking out a former ghoul um, who seemingly has developed the ability to ask somebody for favors, and it was all rather unusual. More details? He'll give the, the person's name. They said she was attached to a Toreador, uh, that domitor has been dead 10 years, and suddenly now the tower wants her gone, and I thought it was a little unusual. Getting rid of old ghouls is not unusual. But after such a long time? It is sloppy. 
Not very many ghouls survive long enough for it to be a problem, though. She fell out a window and asked somebody to catch her. I... I didn't see anybody. That is unusual. She also Anything has odd weapon. happen? What weapon? Well, it did this. Like, show all the holes and wood splinters and everything else in my torso. Pegs just opened his shirt a little bit up and showed the bullet hole. She was able to stake you and shoot you. It's not my first time being shot. This this should not be surprising. But I'm just kind of surprised she was able to shoot me and throw wooden pieces at Tansy. Do Unless there was somebody anything, fancy. Do you mention anything about Bruce being there? Yeah. And you know what was extra odd? So I had... I'm my friend, Bruce, who was helping me out, my little ghost buddy, and he disappeared, and and the photo I had of him disappeared, like, right as we walked in the door. That was weird. This woman was able to throw wood at you without touching it. I mean, I was up close and personal with her. And Tansy still got hit. And I couldn't see anything unusual. You can see they both pause and look at each other for a moment. Jacqueline shakes her head. And your grandfather. I want both of you to stop I think about the events slowly. Your, your spiritual slave escaped you. What do you think happened? Someone took the fetter and used it? That is a possibility. But that's only reserved for members of the family. This is why we should never have allowed the young so much freedom. It is possible you found yourselves in battle with a particularly unique human. But I would guess that your spirit slave took the opportunity to escape. You do not carry a fetter with you for this reason. You keep them bound, locked away someplace, ideally one where the wraith cannot get to it. It is much more likely that the two manage to come to some sort of agreement and help one another out. Which means that you all have allowed a wraith to escape your control during a time when there are already enough of them furious with us with the patriarch's departure and now there is a competent ghoul that has reasons to want the four of you dead It also sounds like you have caused a bit of a stir for the tower, so I imagine they will not be very happy.
There's only been a few nights, and it seems the two of you are making your problems worse. Do you have anything to say in your defense? No, Grandfather. I think I want to do something stupid. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. It has begun. <laughs> okay. So, looking... I might be able to pull this off. All right. Two questions. Would this be considered an official gathering? I want to say the premise of this meeting was that it was an unprepared meeting, so I would say no. This was okay. this was not scheduled. All right, all right then. This is why I ask. Um, would he recognize who I look like? I would say yes. That merit ability will. Will function. All right. I'm going to look at Granddad, Grandpa, and say, You don't know. What they have planned. I know that this looks like chaos to you, but this is like more actually like part of like a bigger scheme. So I think you just need to like think outside the box and trust that there are people who know more than do than you do. And yeah, it's gonna be all right. I know it looks bad, but it's gonna be fine. Vegas is subtly just. Stepping away from dancing. You have made a mess of things. And you come crawling to me for assistance. You all were willing to convince yourselves that there was some plot against you and... Your problem was made worse due to your own incompetence. And you believe I should trust you? I don't know. I mean, like, so obviously you know who my father is. And you obviously know who... The rest of the family is, and <clears throat> I obviously you know why I'm here, and like, come on, Cleveland. <laughs> obviously, they sent me here for a reason, because trust me, I would not be here otherwise. Well, it's you know, a little bit crestfallen at hearing that, but says nothing. Grand, uh, <laughs> your grandfather stands up and uh, walks over to you. And once he reaches you, he looks down at the both of you. Do either of you think Rosalini would be anywhere near as merciful? Have they found out you not only failed, but lost a perfectly good spirit slave? I didn't say I was perfect. There's a plan. You see him, both, both, well, all four of you, really, because you could all see this. There is a blur of movement in Tansy. You feel agony in the center of your stomach as the rest of you see this older man seemingly casually throws out a punch into her stomach. That sends her flying back and into the wall behind her. Wall's well, gonna go see to her. 
Anush just looks with a raised eyebrow. Didn't say anything. Consider it a mercy that I do not tell the Rossellini about this failure. I find their tactics to be extreme. But ordinarily, they get much better results than this. I will give the four of you a week to get this wraith back under control. If not, I will send someone to take care of it myself. And I assure you, you will not enjoy the consequences of my interference. Do you understand? I'll gather Tansy and leave. Now! Yeah, Tansy's going to turn and in a perfect teenager slouch like uh -huh. walk out of the room sort of defiantly. I'm only leaving because I want to. <laughs> well, I think so that is going to be a great time for us to end our story for the evening. I just want to thank those of you who are watching. I want to thank you for joining us for our story. As it was, it was a doozy with lots of lots of opportunities and excitement. Um, and, uh, to my players, I would thank you for helping me tell a wonderful story. I will go ahead and we'll start with Ursaringer. Would you like to tell everybody where they can find you? Y'all can find me at YouTube at Ursaringer. Y'all can find me at Twitch at Ursaringer. Y'all can also find me at the Gremlin Collective, where I'm in a show there called Undead in Dallas. And you can find me at the Cookout TTRPGs until Kira deletes me off there. I'm still there. And, of course, you can find me here at Rerolls when we stream once again for Arethian Nights next Sunday. Next call! It. All right, Ari, it is your turn. Hi, I'm Ari. I play Vegas. As you have seen, this is not this is, this is not go as planned. But uh, uh, hi! You can also see me here on Sunday on Arithia Nights playing Layla, uh, who gets into way more chaos than this, um, and bluffs her way out. Or you can catch me over on the Gremlin Collective, uh, where I'm the storyteller for Undead in Dallas, as well as a partner. Uh, and I am also over on Kira's channel on occasion, uh, causing mischief over there. Uh, no, they cannot get rid of me. I am here forever and ever. <laughs> Right. Next up, Diacromaniac. Hi. Um, yeah, I don't know. Uh, you can watch me here. You can watch me at the Gremlin Collective. Exciting things coming up soon. And um, yeah. That's the thing that happened. All right, Laz. But certainly not least, Sir Monolith. Hi, I'm uh, at Sir Monolith on the Twitter, and uh, yeah, right now you can see me here as well as on uh, Sunday nights and Arithian nights. You should definitely come check that out if you haven't already. All right, and with that, our story has come to an end. So please join us next week as we continue our story as next Sunday for Arithian nights, and uh, keep an eye on our Twitter to see if there's anything else coming up. Uh, for now, we will see if we can find someone to raid. So go ahead and show love to whoever that ends up being. And uh, thank you for watching.